923. It's getting later and later every morning. Um, 15 miles, four days in a row, and then four miles into Damascus. I think that's my plan, but we'll see. I don't think I showed where I camped last night, but it's right next to a gravel road with traffic. I could have camped here 2.3 miles away. All right, I found the ultimate fixer upper. Let's do it. The way is shut. It was made by those who are dead, and the dead keep it. The way is shut. Uh, you can't tell, but that's probably a 60-foot-high waterfall. I believe it's called Laurel Falls. I'll correct it if it's not. Well, this is definitely by far the best campsite that I've come across on the whole trail. I just took a full bath. Uh, no soap, of course. But I was in the water for probably 20 minutes. My feet are freezing, but... That's all right. They need. I like to soak my feet at the end of the day, which I haven't had a chance to until today. Uh, this is the last stop on the Laurel Fork. Um, pretty good day. I probably could have hiked another five miles, and I think I'm at 16 and a half or something like that for the day. I'll put the real number in. Um, let's see. I finally ran into uh, the other through hikers. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I guess everybody got off trail for trail days or whatever up in Damascus, and now they came back. So I'm running into all kinds of people. Uh, saw some people, old Mountain Goat and Ray, who were in the uh, video where I was headed down to Fontana Village, or Von Fontana Hilton. Um, what else? The other thing I wanted to mention was I was doing a hyperlapse of me coming through the gorge where it looks like where it looks like you're walking on the side of the cliff basically and uh forgot to hit record and i discovered it about 30 steps past the end of that thing so i went through it like no trekking poles camera in my right or trekking poles in my left hand camera in my right hand trying not to fall in and then realized i didn't record at all at all so I uh, just didn't bother didn't go back and take a picture or anything um, gut hooks told me it was uh, 10 feet of elevation to get to here from pond mountain wilderness entrance like the road which is two and a half three miles away um, several hundred feet up and down so I don't know what's going on with that but I can't plan a day if gut hooks tells me that my overall elevation gain is a thousand feet over 13 miles, 15 miles, whatever, and maybe that means it's a thousand feet higher, but if I go up 10,000 and down 10,000, obviously I can't do 10,000 feet of elevation gain a day. So if anybody's watching this, and has any idea if I screwed up a setting on gut hooks I can't figure it out so if you can tell me please tell me in the comments because it's really pissing me off um, that was the second most usable function of it and I swear it was working before first usable is obviously water so I don't have to carry 
a gallon of water with me, I can just carry, you know, enough to get to the next water spot. So that's still working good, mostly. Um, I think that's about it. It was a good day. I feel good. I feel great after that bath. I was going to pull off and go to Boots Off Hostel or something to get a shower. I don't need that now. Um, I mean, I got in there and I got, I got deep in there. You know what I'm saying? So I'm clean as a person can get from a creek without soap. And I actually uh, filtered water and washed off with filtered water afterward just to get the creek smell off me. So I'm basically like a real human at this point. And uh, I remembered to take a picture of my hammock and tarp. Um, forgot to eat dinner for the second night in a row. There's my bag. Um, I'm just not hungry. So we'll see what the weight is when meet up with the wifey poo in about a month or so up in Shenandoah. Looking forward to that. Um, that's like 550 miles from here though. <laughs> it's insane. I've only done 425 or something like that. And I got another 500 till I get to meet them again. So the scale of this thing is ridiculous. Sorry, I'm rambling. I'll shut it off now and I'm waiting to completely dry off before I get in the hammock. But uh, good day.